Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am announcing a brand new readathon. Once again, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Like I said, I am going to announce a readathon today. So I have posted a few of these over on Instagram. I've done a Stephen King September. I've done an April Arc Arc Fest. I can't remember what I called it, but it was it, it was reading like backlist advanced copies that people had I needed to get to. And obviously Stephen King was uh, focused on Stephen King. But this is something a little different that I kind of came up with while I was looking through my books and feeling overwhelmed as usual. And I mean, this is certainly not a, a novel concept, I guess, that I came up with. But it's what I decided to go with. So this I am calling the Backlist Binge Readathon. And this is the idea to read books that you've had for a long time in like a fun way with different prompts and kind of, you know, in a group setting is things are always more fun. So I'm definitely going to have some graphics over on my Instagram that I will link to in the comments below. If you already follow me on Instagram, then you can probably go see them right now. Uh, so, so yeah, I am really excited about this. I am hoping to get through some of my backlist books and We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I'm planning for this to run for the whole month of November. That does not mean you can't read. Obviously this is all up to whatever you want to interpret it as. I'm going to try hard to only read books that I currently on this day, October 25th, already own and have in my possession. So that can be books that I bought last week, or it can be books that I've had for several years. Just at this point, I do not want to be reading anything that I acquire from here until the end of November. Hopefully I can do it. I mean, again, this is all just for fun, and the goal is just to keep reading books that you've already owned and owned for a long time to try to just get through some of those you've been wanting to read. So with that, I'm going to tell you what my prompts are and what I am going to be reading for them. So like many of you, when I read these prompts, you're probably going to think like there's several books that could be used for different prompts, but these are just the ones I came up with. Obviously, you don't have to do any of this if you don't want to, but this is what I went. So the first one that I have is the book that has been on your TBR the longest. And for me, that is Lisey's Story by Stephen King. I think I've owned this book for around five years now, which is a long time, especially for a book that I have been like excited to read. This is one that Stephen King himself is, I think it's like one of his favorite books that he's ever written. So why I've been putting it off, I don't know, but I have owned it for quite some time. So that is definitely my pick for that prompt. The next one is the oldest book on your TBR. And so that means the book that was published the earliest. So whatever book you have that is the oldest to be published. And for me, that is Night by Elie Wiesel. So this is going to be a sad one. This is the, I mean, it's a pretty much a classic, but if you don't know, it is uh, a memoir of a Holocaust survivor. He went on to do all kinds of stuff. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for this book. So yeah, pretty, pretty incredible story that I'm really looking forward to finally getting around to reading. And I feel like that is the perfect one for this prompt. This was published originally in 1960. So it's definitely the oldest one on my TBR. Next is a backlist book by an author that you've read from before. And I went with Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson. I have read Speak by her. It's a YA book. This is also a YA book. But I've had it for a long time and I love her writing. I mean, I read Speak originally like when I was in middle school or high school, I don't remember, and loved it so much. And I read it again a couple years ago to kind of like see if it held up and it definitely did. So I am looking forward to reading this book as well. It is about two best friends who struggle with eating disorders and then one of them dies and... The other is got a lot of guilt surrounding that because they kind of were in it together, so to speak. So I think this is going to be a really, really good read and it fits perfectly for that prompt. The next prompt is your most recent purchase. 
I have two here that could be interchangeable for another prompt too, but I'm just going to say that my most recent purchase is Death Valley by Melissa Broder. This I got from the Aardvark Book Club, and it seems really interesting and unique. The woman goes to a Best Western out in Death Valley, California to kind of escape, and uh, her father's in the ICU, her husband's ill, and so she ends up going on a hike through Death Valley, and she finds a, t a towering cactus whose size and shape mean it should not exist in California. And so it's, and then there's a gash in the side, I guess, and it kind of like, it, it's given me like Alice in Wonderland vibes almost, but it, I love the cover. This was one of my most recent purchases, and I just went to Death Valley National Park last year, so I'm sure that it's very, uh, got, got some creative liberties taken with that, but I think that will still be cool to read about a place I just visited like less than a year ago. The next prompt is something that is out of your usual genre or out of your comfort zone. So for me, that is kind of tricky because as I was looking at my books, you think I didn't make these up with being like, it's tricky. Uh, I, But I was looking through my shelves and I'm like, all of these are kind of like in my comfort zone. Nothing's really too, too out there. So I just decided on the whole, I'm gonna go nonfiction is not something I read much of. It's not that I dislike it, I just generally find myself more drawn to fiction stories. So I found a nonfiction book that had been on my shelf for a while and it kind of goes with like the nonfiction November situation. And so that book is called White Women by Regina Jackson and Sarah Rao. This is a book written for white women about how to be better at it and how to be a better person regarding racism, our own racism, how to do better and be just generally a better human being using our privilege for the better of the world. So this is definitely one that I've been wanting to read. I've had it for quite some time and I think it will be really important and Maybe it's out of my comfort zone in that I'm sure there will be some quite uncomfortable conversations in here that I will have to have with myself. So looking forward to that and that is my pick for that prompt. And the last prompt that I have on this list is a book that came out in 2023. So like I said, this could also go with the last thing I purchased because I just purchased a lot of new books. And that is Starter Villain by John Scalzi. This, I mean, look at this. I can't, I, I can't get over it. I love this cover so much. It's like about this guy whose uncle passes away and his uncle was like a super villain. And so he has to kind of like take over his like super villain empire. And it just sounds absolutely off the wall and hilarious. And I know that a cat is involved and the cover has a cat in a tie. So like, how can it be bad? There's also... Oh, it's on the synopsis. The last line says, in a dog-eat-dog -dog world, be a cat. And I just, <laughs> I just love it. I'm a big old cat lady. So this is one that I am super looking forward to reading. And that will be my prompt for a book that came out in 2023. So in addition to having some graphics and other stuff you can share over on Instagram, I'm going to be doing some giveaways of some of my backlist books that I don't think that I will read anymore, that I'm kind of like, probably could get rid of and I would love to maybe organize some sort of book exchange but stay tuned for that and I will definitely make another announcement if that is to be. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope that you will join me with this backlist binge readathon. I think it's going to be really fun and a great way to kind of get through our books. So if you are planning to participate, please drop me a comment down below. If you are not, but you just have something else to say, please also drop me a comment down below. I always am interested in your thoughts and I would love to know what you're planning on reading in the month of November. So these are just six of the books I hope to get to, hopefully more, but my plan is only books that I already own for the month of November. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would. And I will see you in the next